Yes, my name is Carmel Matafero, and today I will be presenting an experimental store design. And the store I chose is Nike. This Nike store is located in the city on 529 Broadway, New York, New York. The outside view is very attention grabbing that attracts customers. This area is mostly commercial and not really residential. What also attracts the customer is that it's on the corner and its big logo is showing out. In this image, as you can see, I am standing in front of the store. Next up, cash wrap area. As you can see, they use a small device, either an iPhone or an iPad, to cash out items for customers that are paying. There is no cash registers around the store, just a small device. If you are paying in cash, they take the cash and come back with your change and item. Most payments are mostly credit cards or Apple Pay through your phone. <coughs> when I first went looking at the first floor, I was impressed with the design and the use of colors. They had mannequins used as examples for all the brand clothing and display. They also used bright screens of real life people wearing the clothing to show how much they like it and how they would look on you. Either random people or athletes were displayed wearing the products. The whole floor in the entrance of the store is comfortable and roomy for the customers. Next up, I went up to the second floor where there was more of the same products. Upstairs, there were more mannequins being used in display for the Nike brand clothing. The use of colors were much more brighter and very different than the lighting downstairs. The lighting was much more detailed. On this floor, they had a section of shoes. They used very bright lights to make it known about the brand new shoes. There was also athletes displaying the products, and especially the shoes that were brand new. There are many employees walking around the stores asking if you need any help. The dressing rooms. In the dressing rooms, there was a total of three big rooms. They have benches to sit where you can try on clothes that you are trying to purchase. They have hooks behind the doors to hang on your clothes or the clothes that you are trying to buy and fit on. The rooms are very neat and have a lot of room to move around. The outside of the dressing hallway was also very clean. The lighting and the color around the store. There was a lot of colors and lighting around the store. The store was very bright pudding. Many colorations together and the colors are used for creating centers of attention especially the shoes on the second floor. Highlighted products and managed to create different environments through the store. What My favorite area of the whole store was the basketball area. On the fifth floor it was all about basketball. There was also a man shooting hoops, displaying new basketball they were selling and the shoes that they were also selling for players who play ball. They had a half court net around with the man shooting basketballs. They were also selling new and old NBA jerseys such as LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and etc. For th that weekend was All-Star weekend which was being advertised during that weekend and they had Kemba Walker NBA star wearing the j new jerseys for that year. They also were advertising Looney Tunes movie, which is starring LeBron James. That movie is also coming out very soon and was being advertised selling Looney Tunes jerseys and Monsters jerseys. As you can see in the pictures up top. So in conclusion, I really thought this setup was very good, especially the way they used the lighting and the colors around it. I have been in many Nike stores and they were all similar good setups that don't fail to impress. Nike's brand identity is great and it moves to, and it moves to know merchandising spaces use the design and innovations as tools to achieve its goal. 
and this store did not fail. Thank you.